hello everyone welcome to big data knowledge hunt official so in the today's video we will be seeing linear versus logistic regression so if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe it and also follow me on instagram so in the previous video we have already shown what is mean by regression what is mean by logistic regression and now we are seeing the linear versus logistic regression that is the difference between these two so these two are the very important concept that are used in machine learning algorithms so generally we use logistic regression so it is important that we should be clear when to use linear and when to use logistic regression so let us start so the first thing is that in the linear regression the outcome is always continuous continuous in the sense based on the one value the another value is calculated so it is a different value each time whereas in logistic regression the outcome is discrete that we know the outcome it may be a binary it may be 0 1 it may be spam or not spam since the outcome is a discrete the dependent variable is always continuous in linear regression whereas in logistic regression the dependent variable is always binary that is the value of y so in logistic regression always the value is binary that is in the form of 0 or 1 yes or no spam or not spam fake or true such type of output will be there in logistic regression the curve generated by the linear regression is always a straight line curve whereas in logistic regression it is a yes shape curve as shown in the diagram why so because the points that are plotted in the linear regression always um, give a straight line which um, which is based on the equation that is y is equal to mx plus b where m is the slope of the line and b is the intercept whereas in logistic regression it follows the different maximum likelihood probability calculation so the graph is always a yes shaped curve and it is based on the probability that is calculated from the given set of values so this is the basic difference between the curve of the linear and logistic regression so whenever we are dealing with the linear and logistic regression we have to make sure that the pl points plotted should give a straight line curve so they should be linearly related so that we can get a straight line curve whereas in the logistic regression it is a yes shape curve so it is based on the probability so these are the basic things next is the linear regression calculation is based on the least square estimation method we have shown the formula whereas in logistic regression it is based on the maximum likelihood estimation which is a probability count linear regression always assumes a normal or gaussian distribution since the graph is a straight line graph whereas logistic regression assumes the binomial distribution which provides a yes shape graph so it is a one type of probability estimate a linear regression estimate the dependent variable in in case of a change of independent variable so as we have shown that the graph distribution is very different in the both the things so the linear regression calculates the value of um the independent uh, dependent variable based on the independent variable whereas in logistic regression the calculation is based on the probability of the event the main thing is that the linear regression requires the linear relationship among the variables whereas in logistic regression there is no linear relationship among the variables so the linear regression um calculates the dependent variable y based on the independent variable whereas in the logistic regression the y is calculated based on the probability of all the independent variables uh, and their events so this is the basic difference between the linear regression and logistic regression where we have to make sure that the variables should not be dependent linearly dependent whenever we are applying the logistic regression so i hope everyone is clear with the difference between logistic and linear regression for more such videos please stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to subscribe it you can also follow me on instagram my id is provided in the description box you can go through it thank you guys